Hey guys, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. This is the Fast Fish Beach Fishing Series. Today we are going to be discussing one of the most underrated bait fishes on the beach. It's the sand flea, Emeritus analoga. Check this out. So today we're going to show you how to fish with sand fleas. We're going to show you how to make chum with sand fleas. We're going to show you how to find sand fleas. Uh, the sand flea is not actually a flea at all. It's actually a crab. The more precise term, the more precise name is called the mole crab, uh, but we call them sand fleas. And you find them by looking uh, for them in the surf. So sand fleas live right on the border of where the water meets the sand, and it makes this muddy kind of nice soft, wet mud, and that's where they live. And what they do is, they live right, they go up and down the beach um, as the tide comes in and out. And so the predatory fish such as pompano, permit, uh, at nighttime we got mangrove snappers, uh, whiting, croakers, all these little things, they come in and they feed heavily on sand fleas. In fact, it's one of the big reasons why there's so many fish on the shoreline is because they're eating sand fleas. So in order to find sand fleas, what you got to do is they hang out in colonies right on the border of the uh, water, where the water meets the sand. And what they do is as a wave comes in and goes back out, they stick their little antenna up. And these are filter feeders. So they, they filter feed uh, little planktons and algaes and God knows what. Uh, as it's coming through their, their little antenna, they catch them and that's what they feed on. So what you're doing is you're looking for this little disturbance in the water where the antenna are sticking up. And if you have one of these, this is a sand flea rake. Most tackle shops sell them. Uh, they're, you know, they're probably 40, 50 bucks. And so you can get one of these. And what you do is you, when you find a group of sand fleas, you got to kind of walk carefully up to them because as soon as they feel your footsteps, they'll go underground, they'll bury underground. That's why they call them mole crabs and you won't find them. So you wait for them, you, you wait until their little antenna are popping up and then you go and you just stick this rake in the ground and you rake up a big thing of uh, sand you bring it up to the, the water and you rinse it out inside the water and then you get, you'll be left with anything larger than this little quarter inch hole and your sand fleas will be left in, him, in there. When fishing with sand fleas, I like to use a long rod. You don't need any more than a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader with maybe like a number one or number two circle hook with a pyramid sinker on the bottom and you can use a guppy rig and you hook these things up on a guppy rig and you send them out again after dark mangrove snappers come in off the reef and they come in just to feed on sand fleas and you can actually do pretty well with them there. You can catch a nice pompano and I've actually caught some decent sized permit on the sand fleas right on the beach in Palm Beach and Broward County. So it's a good bait to use. I've caught snook on them before. It's a, it's a crab. So you know crab meets the delicacy and the fish are going to eat them. But what you can also do is use them for chum. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you that you take, you collect a bunch of sand fleas and and there's sand flea colonies all up and down the beaches of Palm Beach, Dade and Broward counties in South Florida. And you just go with a sand flea rake, you rake up and you don't need a lot of shellfish because what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a carbohydrate to the mix. We'll show you how to do that later. And you make some chum blocks with it and you can do well with them there. So when you're hooking a sand flea, there's the head end and there's the rear end and sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. So what you gotta do is look for the little antenna and the little eyes that pop out and you're gonna find out that that's the head. What you don't wanna do is hook them through the head. You hook them through the tail end and the females have got this big, you know, big flap here that covers their eggs when they're, when they're releasing their eggs. So you hook them in the tail end, in through the bottom, out through the top with your circle hook and you put two or three of them on a rod and you let them uh, cast them out, out past the sandbar and hang on because you're gonna get hit soon. Hey guys, hope you liked that video. Very informative. The sand fleas are awesome baits. Go use them. You'll catch fish, I promise, if you're here in South Florida. Uh, guys, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications, because when you do, we'll get you more videos like this one. Um, we're on Facebook and Instagram, so check us out there. Until next time, watch your lip. Let's go get some sand fleas. Ciao.